All right, so I'm going to show how to disassemble a Dell Inspiron model 5770. So first what you want to do is take all the screws out. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. And this screw holds the CD drive in place. So if you just want to remove the CD drive, you can just remove that one. Once you remove that screw, you grab here. I pre-removed it, but basically you would get your nails here and then you can just like pull on it like that. Okay. So, and then there's two screws here. So you take those two screws out. Um, and then you basically just go around the whole thing and you can pop the frame. Oops, I popped it back. So I pre-popped it out just so it's easier with one hand while holding a camera. But basically you get your nails between the top part of the keyboard and this lip. And once you get that, you kind of just pull on it like this, okay? You push down with your thumb and pull up with your nails or you can use a pry tool. Um, but basically you just go around the whole computer all the edges. Um, this side, it has these special clips here. So as you can see, this clip, it goes, it would go over this lip. So what you want to do with that is, let me see if I can do this with one hand. But basically, you get your nails here and you use your thumb and pull it out like this. So you can see how it, it goes away from it. So you just pull it like that, okay? And that's how you release that kind of clip. And then you can just lift around and yours will probably be more stuck, but yeah. Oh, also these four screws here at the bottom, um, they actually stay in place. They have like a little washer or something that, that keeps it attached to the body. So all the rest of the screws, they'll fall out, but the, the four down here, they'll stay in place. Okay, after you do that, just lift it and then you can set it aside. So inside you can see there's the wireless card to remove that take this screw out you're gonna have to remove this little plastic bracket but um to remove the antenna wires you pull as close to the back as possible and kind of lift it at an angle like this um, don't try and pry from the front or anything because you can break off the connectors and to put it back you just line it up and push it straight down okay and then there's the I believe this is the LCD cable actually is this touch screen no so this might be the camera cable and then you got the LCD cable here okay you got the fan it's hard to tell here no that's the power button actually and then the fan cables here okay so you can see the power button connector here they actually connect two boards together then you got the RAM so let me show you what type of RAM this is DDR4, but let's see, PC4, 2400T, okay, to take that out, you put it at an angle like this, and you put, or to put it back, you push it down, but to take it out, there's these two clips, you just push them aside, and it'll pop up like that, and then you can take it out, okay, the CPU soldered to the board, and then you got this connector here for the optical drive, the CD drive. Um, you can also change it into a second hard drive if you want. You can buy an adapter for that. Um, then you got this cable that goes underneath the board for the USB and also the CMOS battery or the BIOS battery. Then you got the hard drive. We upgraded to an SSD. Um, but to remove this cable, you kind of have to just get your nail or pry tool between here and you can pull on this, see, like that. But be careful because you don't want to damage that cable right there. Okay. So it's connected with that cable. So you'd probably want to take the four screws out and lift it before you pry it just so you have more room not to smash the cable into the battery. Or you can take the battery out. But that's another thing I always forget to mention because I'm used to working on these things and not causing issues. But if you're not sure what you're doing, just to be safe, you can remove the battery, hold the power button for about 30 seconds, and drain all the power. So that way, if you touch something you shouldn't, you won't damage anything. Um, and then I believe this is the trackpad cable, keyboard backlight cable, keyboard cable, and the speaker connector. So you see the speakers go over there. Okay. Um, and it looks like they have a slot here for an SSD as well, which looks like a M.2 SSD. Not sure if it only supports SATA or if it also supports NVMe, 
but to be safe you can get SATA or just Google around I'm sure you'll find it um, if somebody asks um, in the comment section below I'll I'll look it up for them but um, while I'm making the video I don't wanna, like spend the time to look it up right now so yeah and the hinges and that's pretty much it so the fans held in with those three screws here and I think I mentioned all the connectors already there's the other connectors here I believe one is for the hard drive probably this and then there's oh, actually it says hard drive here so I'm not too sure let's see FP fingerprint sensor I don't know yeah um, if I took this out I'd know but this is a customer's computer so I don't want to take apart more than I need to um, and that's pretty much it uh, if this video helped you um, please like and subscribe because that'll really help me as well and yeah, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll try and help you out. Don't forget, these are my customer's computers, so um, I probably won't have it by the time you ask the question, but I'll do my best to help you out. All right. Oh, and then the battery. Let's see here. Where's the model number here? I don't see the model number on this thing. I think it's probably just this, the type WDX0R. Okay, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye.